Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to Zoo Tours. Today we are touring Stonebrand's Family Zoo created by Swenograph on the Steam Workshop. Link is in the description, so go do check the zoo out yourself. In the description it said this. Stonebrand Family Zoo is a zoo I've been working on for the last four months and it's finally finished. In this zoo you will find multiple areas called the Old Forest, Tropicana, the Outback, Africa House, Madagascar and more. Have fun looking around and feedback is always welcome. Well, um, you will be getting some feedback and some awesome things that I see that I thought you did pretty darn good. So as always guys, um, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow. It helps me to put out more videos so more people will see it. You know, that's what we want. And now with no further ado, let's get into this amazing zoo. Well, um, first of all, like I was going to go in here and then I noticed this lovely gate, which I just feel like is magnificent. It just goes, you know, just along the outlines here. But I feel like this is really amazing. And just when you go in here, it has like this sign, this is our new expansion. And I think that's a really smart idea because if you want to have like this realistic zoo, this happens in real zoos. This is quite realistic and I really like it. Also with all the foliage here, it, it feels Homesy, it feels like the zoo is in my area uh, and I like that. So, you know, let, let's enter here. There are no guests in this zoo at the moment. Um, I'm just going to see if I can change that and I'll be right back with you guys. Open the zoo. Guests should be arriving. Yeah, there they are. Nice. So here we have like this beautiful plaza, which I really like with statues. I, I could see our first hab uh, habitat there. But here we have a gift shop. Nice. Now on Steam it didn't state if everything was made um, himself or if it was like blueprint. So I'm just going to assume that it's all made by you. Um, but I really honestly I couldn't tell. So I love the fact the way that this is all branded together with the stone. I really like that. I mean look at this. You like the separate signs you put them inside the wall. So that they look like they were made in there. I really like that. I think it's really clever. Also, putting flamingos. Ooh. Putting flamingos in your zoo at the start is a really smart choice. I um I don't know if you guys all know why. Ooh, it's nice. But flamingos, same as uh capuchin monkeys or penguins, they are really loud, usually. Like um these ones aren't for some reason, but usually they are really, really quite loud. So let me just see if my sound is uh, on correctly. Yeah, it, it should work. Oh, I have some escaped animals. Well, who cares? Basically, um, they are really loud. So if you make, they make noise, which can be heard from the people that are behind the entrance. And that way, people will come and join your zoo because they get attracted by the animal sounds. That's true. I mean, look it up. It, it's true. So here we have another food area. And here we have some toilets, which are really neatly stuck away. I like it because you can't really see them. I enjoy that. I love the white pathways. That's really good. Ooh, right. it's, it's set to follow the, the pole prints. So we are just going to follow it and we're going to the old forest where we have reindeers and something else. Lemurs? Yes, lemurs. Well, let's check out the reindeers first. They have this beautiful, oh, they're babies. They have like this big home here where they can sleep in. So kind of like the sleeping quarters, really dig that. Then they have this habitat. It's not huge, but then again, um, the zoos where I went, the reindeer habitats weren't huge there as well. But I love the foliage that you put here. I also really like the fact that you put this around the tree. Really clever, lovely, really, really nice. And then here we have another viewing point that I already noticed. So here you can look at the reindeers you know, when they're here because at the moment they're all sleeping. And here you have the American bison. Ooh, with a totem. Nice. Now there's not a lot of foliage in here, but I don't think the bison needs a lot of foliage. And you did put foliage at the end, like behind the gate. So quite like it. I love this. What even is this? 448 objects. Wow, that's a lot. What objects? What even is this? That's a roof trim. That is really nice. 
Wow. And they have babies as well. Uh, are you alive? Yes, you are. Nice. Really nice. I feel like this is the daddy because he's so big. Nice. Nice. Oh, here you have the totem as well. Didn't see that. That's really cool. Lovely. So, um, oh, their pole prints going back, but we just came from there. So, um, we're going to go this way. Bear Cove Renewal in 2011. Oh, I love this. This is so clever to say when it's renovated. So here we have a Himalayan brown bear. <gasps> oh, I see it. Nice. So you have two of them in here. I like the rock work. I like the elevation in terrain. Oh, they have babies. But I really like the elevation in the terrain as well. Uh, I, again, it does feel a, like a little bit of a small habitat. I guess it is like the space that they need. But yeah, I personally, I love giving my animals big space, like unnecessary big space. So I'm not the one to judge about that. Here we have red pandas. I like the way this, this is done. I really like that. Ah, whoa, 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 did you see that jump? Wow. Just about to ask, where is it? And then it jumped out. Oh, cute. <laughs> the jumping animations are so weird. Oh, and they have a baby as well. Oh, look, it's so cute. I like it. Really nice, nice mommy or daddy, whatever. And then here they have, ah, oh, another one. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna say like this, the inside, you could nice it up. Like obviously the guests don't see it. So it is a smart way to reduce your piece count. But I always enjoy seeing things like fully done. But I like it. Wolves. Ah, pole prints. We found them. <gasps> oh, they're in front. Also, really nice viewing points. With the framing and the glass inside. Nice. This viewing point is amazing for the wolves. Wow. They had to stare off. They're playing. Ah, cute. So let's see if two, three, four wolves. Are there more wolves in here? Five. Oh, why are animals always like pooing on my screen? Six. Six wolves in here. Nice. I love the space they have here. I like it. Although I do feel like wolves um, need a lot more foliage. At least in the zoo where uh, it's very close to my home, they recently got wolves. I say recently, like two years ago. And they had like a lot of foliage down, so you can't, well, you can barely even see them because there's so much foliage, you just don't know what is wolf and what is foliage. But oh well, oh, I like this as well with the, with the pack leader and the, and the pup. Nice. Uh, and wolf coffee. That is so smart. That's really cool. I like it. Really nice. Ah, some more lovely toilet blocks. I have to say that, really nice. So here we are exiting uh, the forest, the old forest. And we are entering what seems to be a savannah desert area. That's the Middle East. So here we have our camels, lovely habitat. This is, I can hear capuchin monkeys, like they're so loud. There is an, uh, there's a zoo very close to me and the camel habitat looks exactly like this. Like exactly. That's really creepy and kind of cool. Also, I love this fence. That's custom. I really like this. Okay, paw prints. Let's follow it. We'll go up here into our little food court. Well, it's a little, but it's quite big. Lovely glass roof. Brings in a lot of light. And then we have a viewing point. Ooh, lovely water feature. But we have a viewing point up here where we supposedly see the rhino. Question being, where is it, I think? Ah, yeah, it's there. I love this so that it can't get too close. I like that. That's really nice. I'll just... Ah, the baby. I have a baby. Aw, 
Rhino babies are really quite big, so you know, that's quite really big. I love this. I love these trees. Like, I never really use them because I forget that they actually exist. But I live for these trees. They are really nice. So it's a water. It's really um, peaceful out here. Really quiet, really peaceful. I like it. Again, with the fence. I love this fence. You accidentally clicked barrier. Why are we in barriers? What's that? This is really nice. I love it. Look at this. This feels really cool. I might just, you know, screenshot that. This feels really amazing. So over here we have capuchin monkeys with a little water barrier that they can't cross. Which I actually feel like is really funny that like a monkey can't cross this. In theory, you would be like, oh, well, they can probably cross this. But in actual zoos, you have water like that as well, so that they actually can't cross it. Oh, look at them climbing. This is... Ooh, whoa, whoa, you glitched out. That's so cool. I like that. I really like it. You have the walkway. Nice. Okay, let's uh, have a peek inside. Yes. See, this? You should have done something like this with the red panda as well, because this makes it look so much more interesting and far more realistic. I mean, look, really, really nice. I really enjoy this. Also, the, I just noticed that, but your education signs, they're really nice. They're really good, they're like, like formed into it, I like it. Ooh, okay, so this is a p-file walkthrough habitat. So let's do that. Ooh. Multiple doors. And immediately a lovely big p-file. Female behind her, a male. This lovely tail. Really nice. I like it. This looks really cool. I do like the fact that you give the animals like a, a private area where the keeper can enter, but they also have some privacy uh, from the guests. And this isn't the biggest walkthrough habitat, but it's nice. Also with the netting on top of here, if this is wood, that's wood. Love that, really, really nice. Lovely shadow that it gives as well. Boom, nice. I like this one as well. It's numbered, it's nice. All right, so it says to go in here, so we're gonna go in here. Oh, Pangolin. Where are you? I spy with my little eye. Ah, there they are. Ah, a baby. It's digging in the dirt. That's so cute. They kind of remind me like armadillos. They probably are and I just don't know. But they kind of remind me of armadillos. You, sh you could have placed some benches down here. You know, given it's a place where the people can like sit and look. And perhaps some wool art, but overall, I mean, looks pretty good. So here you have the inside for the capuchin. We've been there. I can't get over the fact how chill this zoo actually looks. I mean, look at it. It is so peaceful, so quiet. Even though there are guests in here, it's really quiet. And I like this with the bamboo again. Toilet neatly stuck away. So it says to go there. Uh, we're just going to follow the, foot, the paw prints. So we go past. Ooh, I love this. I like the look of this. Really like that. So we go past the capuchin monkeys and the tape here. But I guess we're going to go there later still. So here we have. Ooh, the anteater. Nice. Oh, it has two outside areas. Really nice. Nice indeed. Okay, so we follow the paw prints. And then we are here with the camels, which again, lovely habitat. I feel like I missed the paw print though, because I can't be expected to go all the way back. So we're here. Oh. Oh, it goes like this. Okay, so did you see it? I didn't see these. Wow. I like the bamboo fences. Ooh, llama walk through habitats. Ooh. 
I like that this pathway is almost blended in with the terrain. Like at the beginning, you wouldn't even notice it, like except that you could obviously see it here. At the beginning, it's almost perfectly blended. I like it. Oh, I love llamas. I like this as well, the feeding thing. Look, that lady is impressed as well. She's like, wow, wow. I've never seen a llama this close. That's cool. It's amazing. Ah, uh, there are llamas looking in here. Nice. I'd like that. So, look, it's, it's out there. So I'm guessing we're going to go past it. Like, we have to. Yeah. Tiger Lodge. Well, that sounds rather interesting. Where is the tiger? Oh, it's in the water. Nice. Very nice indeed. I like that. I like, I love tigers. I say that every time there's a tiger somewhere, but I really like tigers. Oh, they have a baby. It's so cute. And I believe I saw another one somewhere here. Yes, there it is. Hiding in plain sight. Cute. So uh, the tigers are obviously very important to these people. I mean, they're all standing here, which I get because tigers are like really cool. So we came through the tigers. Ooh, I didn't see this. This is nice. Subspecies, behavior, social, etymology. Nice. I really like the way this is made up or combined. I like it. So lemurs on your one side, tortoises on this side, and then we can walk through. Oh wait, we can't. Oh, well, I'm, I feel I feel like I'm gonna get lost again, but whatever. We'll we'll see. There are a lot of people here. Information. Ooh, this is nicely done with the cards. Nice. Apparently, these people really like the Madagascar, so... Oh my god, it's so crowded. This is definitely not COVID-proof. Ooh, but look at the foliage. Oh, look at the houses. That's so cool. That's all custom-built. Like, to their size. That's so cool. And these are vines. And they lead to the other houses in here again. Wow. Makes me wish that I did that in my zoo. This is really cool. So with the foliage and the plants, you can hear the little sprinklers and there's some grass coming out here. Oh, and we need to be quiet. That's fine. We can be quiet. I can just water this little platform making climb. That's so nice. So then you exit here. Cool. And you're at the brown bear. This is a really clever way of walking around the zoo. I'm impressed. And then you go back to the plaza and then you choose the other way. Right? Oh wait, that's the zoo. Because that building is it's not a building. I feel like I missed something. How do I get to the outback then? Okay. Oh wait, I've, then I'll go here. Then I walk past here. Yeah, Tropicano. So we exit there. So we go straight ahead. Ooh, guessing we're going to go to the outback now. This to the star facilities. Very nice. Actually, if a zoo were the exact same doors. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm guessing this is built uh, this area after the Australia pack came out. Well, obviously, but like almost directly after because this looks really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, pool prints tell me to go this way. Watch out, they pack. Ooh, good that they say because, you know, I wouldn't want to get packed. I keep reminding you, like, I keep wanting to say they're emus, but they're like cosselwaries, but they look like emus. 
They're actually related to the emu, emu family. I, I really like the outset with the trees. It's a... Uh, it kind of separates it, makes it doesn't make it look so bland. I enjoy it. Okay, following the footprint, the paw prints. Ooh, gorillas. Yeah, how you do this box? I love this animation. This is so cool. I really like it. I love this habitat. I feel like you're a big uh, primate fan because the primate habitat looks on point. Same just with the lemurs, it looks really on point. Inside as well. See, this is what the inside habitat should look like, in my opinion. This is amazing. I really enjoy this. Oh, the babies! Cute. Though, like we all know, in theory, they could jump that. It happens in the Rotterdam Zoo. A, a gorilla jumped this and then attacked a woman. But no, she provoked him, so... Ah, Southern Africa Wild Dog. Ooh, I like these. I like the framing you did. Let's go into the habitat, because I have a feeling they're gonna be asleep. Ah, some of them are awake. That's a puppy! So cute! Yeah, and they're all asleep except the puppies. They have a lovely big area. Really nice. I do notice, like if I am if I am able to notice that without you feeling um attacked or something. Um you use all the same rocks. If you use a little uh variety in there, variation, wow. Um it looks a lot less blunt and it looks way more interesting to look at. Like see these here? You all place them just a little bit different. And that makes it interesting to look at. So if you do that with the backside as well, you know, add some higher, make some lower, add, add um, give some really, really good mix. I love the fact that you can see the monkeys on that side, and then you have the lions here with this little reading area. I enjoy that. Oh, they have a truck and they have a cup. This looks really nice. Oh, and they can sleep in it! Impressive! So, this is a really nice habitat for the lions. Same here with the outside with a little water and a playing toy. This looks cool. This looks really nice. Also here with the banner. I like it. And then we have the elephants. Wow! The Africa house, yes. I like the fact that you didn't put water in here because otherwise they would be able to swim over and they do have a large body of water there with a waterfall. So that's really nice. Toilets, ooh, going up, quite steep. Then here we have zebras. I like it. I like this little viewing point. This looks really nice. We have zebras, bisons, and oh, they have little ones as well, so cute. And then a oh, little baby elephant as well, nice. And then we go here, this lovely walkway. I love these lights. To a food area. Oh, I like this, it did with the African pieces. It looks really nice, you can really see the animals quite well. Also, that tree, yes, goals. Nice, and this side, giraffes. Nice, I like all the, the tall trees they have, which is, you know, quite realistic, but they're also like there's any low branches hanging there because they would obviously be, have eaten that. So I like it. I don't know if you initially thought of that, but, you know, I'm just going to assume that you did. Oh, you can almost pet it. Nice. See, this is what I meant with the benches. Here, the benches are really, really nice. Same here with the education boards. I really enjoy that. Oh, you have ostriches as well. Lovely. So you walk all around the elephants. And then here. Oh, Capi. Okay, let's, let's run. Ooh. See tiny ostriches. 
Ooh, I see a lot of antelopes. Ooh, okapi. Nice, they're related to the zebra. They're also quite funny looking. I like them. And in here, more okapi. Let's observe their outside area. Ooh, even more. Again, you were pooing. Why are you always pooing on my on my channel? Just why? Blah, let's go back to the trees. You have the Africa house, but I'm guessing we're gonna enter there. A hippo, a pick me hippo. So it's probably at, yes, it's at the bottom. Oh, look how cute. It's so round, it's like a little piglet. Nice. But the inside area as well. This is a really nice inside area. This is really nice. Let's just have a peek at the other animals. Oh, look at the gorillas. They are here. The baby is here. This is so, so perfect. Yeah, let's just yeet our way back to where we were. We had okapis. And we're entering the forest. So we saw that. Then we are going here, which is the Tomsel Gazelle. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like the habitats are kind of um, similar? And again, like I don't, I don't want to bash you. Like, no intention at all to do that. It's just something that I've noticed. Ah, oh, the warhawks. I like that you can see them so well from the inside. Oh, baby. Cute. Look how tiny it is. I like their outside area. That looks really nice. And then the tape here, which we've seen. Here's the artvark. I always feel like an artvark is such a funny animal. I've never seen one in real life until like a few months ago, but it's a really funny animal. It looks so funny and it makes really funny noises. Okay, I oh, can get little coins. Okay, um, I do feel like we missed something in the outback because we went straight ahead. And I feel like perhaps we should have gone here. Yes, we missed this. All right, so let's, uh, let's check out a kangaroo. See, I love this. I love, it, it breaks the color. Like you have all these red tones and then you have like these white branches with green. It really breaks the color. Same with here. I mean, just gonna pause it up here. I mean, you guys see, right? You see what I mean? It breaks it and I really like it. Makes it look really interesting and fun to look at. Ooh, kangaroo. Apparently they're not nice at all in real life. I've never actually seen a kangaroo in real life, I don't think. I'm guessing this will be koala. Yes. Oh, and the exhibit animals. I still wish that Frontier would let us like install our own exhibits. Koalas. Oh, babies. You have so many baby animals in this zoo. I love it. And they have this lovely outside area where they can just climb in the trees. Nice. And then obviously, that stuff with the dingoes. Yes. Ooh. Now this looks really Australian. Also with the amount of fo foliage that you used. I feel like this looks really good. I quite like this. Nice. I think that was the zoo. Let's just, uh, I mean, you can see it's quite, quite big. Let's just see what we've actually, uh, I think we have seen it all. So let's just observe it in night mode and see if it shines. Yeah, so because of the red uh, pathway, this clearly lit up a lot. But I like it, like the pathways are lit up exactly where you'd expect it. Food courts are lit up way more, which I like. I really appreciate that. It's nice. 
nice. A really nice lightning in here. Good job. Well, guys, that was it for this week's um, zoo tour. If you have seen a zoo that you think, well, you know, you should uh, tour this, I want to know your opinion. Or maybe you have just seen a creation or maybe it's your own zoo that you want to have toured. That's all fine. You can join my Discord. On there, there is a channel which is called Zoo Tours or Submit Your Zoo. And you can put a link to your Steam Workshop in there to the item that you want me to see so I can actually find it. You can also write a little bit about your creation. And if you've done all that, uh, you can always, you know, if you don't want your things to be toured, you can still do this. You can, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to um, let people know that you enjoyed my video and that they should throw it up with more people to see whether they enjoyed it as well. You know, and that helps the channel grow and that's something that I'd, I'd really like. So if you could do that, that'd be great. And I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.